Hi, Berks family. It's me again, uh, Cassandra Carl, the Director of Youth Ministries. Um, I'm usually a really joyful person. I love to laugh and I do it a lot, uh, especially at my own expense. I am able to find the humor in almost any situation. Um, and I've been known to make jokes at inappropriate times now and again, because laughter is basically my answer to everything. But lately, uh, I've been finding it harder to find humor in things. Uh, sometimes I feel weighed down and like I'm always tired. Um, and I think that constantly adapting really just takes it out of you. Uh, whether it's trying to figure out virtual learning for three kids, um, new ways of doing virtual ministry, or trying to connect with my technologically challenged family, uh, I feel like I just don't have enough energy to uh, be joyful. So I chose this topic for a devotion because I'm guessing that I'm not the only person who's been feeling this way. Maybe you're in that place too, for whatever reason. So I want to share with you uh, three things from the Bible that I think speak to how we can all be more joyful, even in difficult times. So Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse four, you guys all know Ecclesiastes three, right? It's to everything there is a season. Well, verse four says, a time to weep and a time to laugh. It used to be really easy for me to laugh. Um, things just happened in my life every day like magic that were funny. But lately I'm so busy being serious that I feel like I don't have time for laughter. Instead of having fun with my kids, I'm making them do their schoolwork. Instead of having fun with the kids in my ministry, um, I'm talking to them about how to be patient and respect authority and telling them not to be afraid. And instead of sharing funny stories with my family, we've been mourning the loss of loved ones who have succumbed to this pandemic. But this scripture, Ecclesiastes 3, 4, it reminds me that even in times when I'm weeping, I need to make time for laughter. I love watching silly movies. Um, Monty Python is one of my favorite things in the whole world. Um, I also love watching funny TV reruns. Uh, the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror is, I think, one of the funniest things that's ever been on television. Um, my family also just got a new game called Poetry for Neanderthals, uh, which has a really high probability of making everybody crack up. And I literally schedule time for these things that I know are gonna make me laugh. Um, I'm afraid if I don't do that, that I won't laugh, that I won't have any time for laughter. The second thing is Proverbs 17.22, which says, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a downcast spirit dries up the bones. Now, I'm no expert. <laughs> But I don't think that this proverb is talking about laughter just being good medicine for the person who's laughing. One of the most important things that I've learned from this whole COVID situation is not to just find my joy where I can, but also to share those things that bring me joy with others. I find myself sending endless memes to friends and family uh, doing TikTok dances with my kids and creating fun videos with my coworkers. Um, check out the Burke's Youth Facebook page on Friday to see one of those. Um, and I share a lot of humor on social media. The world has a lot of seriousness right now. So we all need to spread some whimsy if we can. It's such an easy way to be a blessing to others, to share your cheerful heart and be good medicine for them. And it has the side effect of making you feel good in the process because you've made somebody else laugh. And then 
The third scripture I want to share is Galatians 6 2. And it says, bear one another's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. When things get hard, especially when they're hard for a long time and there's no end in sight, I sometimes feel like I will never laugh again. And that's when I know it's time to get some help. If you're struggling to find any source of joy in your life, Talk to someone about it. Share how you're feeling with a friend, a pastor, or a professional counselor. You might feel lighter having just voiced your struggles. You'll probably also find out that you're not alone. And you might get some practical advice for how to get out of this joyless vortex that you found yourself in. Sharing your burdens can really make a world of difference in a number of different ways. So don't suffer alone. Get some help. Now, I'm sure that some of you out there are doing just fine. And I am really, truly, truly happy for you. You have the opportunity to be such a blessing to others during this time. So if you're not struggling right now, I encourage you, make someone laugh. Laugh with someone or be the pillar that your friends can lean on when they feel weak. If we all do what we can to encourage joy in ourselves and in others, we will all be better for it. <laughs>